When we talk about medication, we talk about two different kinds. There are agonists and antagonists. In a normal cell, you have receptors that are found both on the outside of the cell and sometimes on the inside of the cell. These receptors bind with normal molecules found in your body and cause a reaction in the cell. So normally a molecule binds to a receptor on the cell and it tells the cell to do something. It's also possible for a molecule to bind to the cell and tell the cell not to do something. So you can have molecules that bind to the receptors and both start a process and stop a process. When we talk about agonist and antagonist drugs, we're talking about the ability to modify the normal function of these receptors. In high school English, we talked about protagonists and antagonists in a story, and the protagonist was the hero in the story, and the antagonist was the villain in the story. But in general, I kind of think of the antagonist as, in this case, as being the thing that's going to block something from happening, just like in a story, usually the antagonist is blocking whatever the protagonist wants. So the antagonist is going to bind to the receptor and then prevent whatever the normal process is from binding so that molecule that normally binds to that to that receptor on the cell gets blocked by the antagonist and this can happen to both the receptors on the outside and the receptors on the inside of the cell. So it can block both the uh, molecule that tells the cell to do something and the molecule that tells the cell not to do something. So it's not necessarily um, preventing something from happening, it could be preventing the molecule that tells the cell to stop doing something. So you don't want to think about antagonist in the sense of good or bad, just that it prevents something from happening. So it's going to prevent that normal function from binding to that receptor on the cell. Agonists, on the other hand, kind of light the way for the molecules that normally bind to the receptor and it says, hey, over here, um, come this way, bind here, and it actually increases the function of that normal molecule that usually binds to that receptor on the cell. It increases the likelihood that that is going to bind. So it can bind both the molecules that tell the cell to do something and the molecule that tells the cell not to do something but it's going to attract and encourage that um, molecule to bind to that receptor on the cell. And that's all there is to agonists versus antagonists. Hope that helped.